So how would you like to get geotagging or geolocation information from your EOSR, your C70, or the R5 that I'm shooting on now? Let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as I said in my intro, we're talking about GPS or geotagging or geolocation, you know, global positioning system. How would you like to get that on your photos and on your video? So with Canon and the EOS R, R5 and C70, it's pretty easy with this Canon GPE2. And this is the tool that you need for Canon products unless you want to use your phone, which I absolutely hate because you have to leave it on, drains the battery, and all that other good stuff. So there is a few little quirks to each one of these that you have to pay attention to to get it to work correctly. Let's go ahead and move over to the first camera. All right, everybody. So here we are in the USR. We're on the setup menus, sub menu five, and we're gonna go to the GPS device settings. We're gonna go ahead and select our GPS device, GPS receiver. And by the way, this is just in the hot shoe. One quirk with the EOSR, you have to turn on the EOSR first and then turn on the GPE2 in the hot shoe, turn it on after the EOSR. I could not get it to work unless I put it up in that order. So just a caution there about using the GPE2 with the EOSR. Now we want to go to setup. I want to auto update. Sure. Every 15 seconds, sure, why not? And then we can go see the GPS information display. There you go. We got the GPE2 working in the OSR. Now our photos and things like that will be geotagged. Works great on the EOSR, just that one little quirk of start the EOSR and then turn on the GPE2 in the hot shoe after the EOSR. So let's go ahead and get out of this and we'll get to the next one. All right, everybody, so here we are on the C70 and if your GPS was turned on and working, normally you'd see a satellite in the left hand of the screen here. So let's go ahead and turn that on. So if you notice, if we come over here to monitoring setup, go down to custom display two and scroll down just about all the way to the bottom, you'll see GPS. Let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, now that we have that turned on and we go back to our display, we can see we have a little blinking satellite. The blinking satellite means it's trying to acquire a signal and if it's not blinking, it means it acquired a signal and you're all set. So since I just turned it on, it's going to take one to four minutes, five minutes to get a signal, depending on where you're at. You know, if you're out in the open, it'll get a signal quicker. If you're in a house, it may take a little longer. So that's what that's doing. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and check our time. And we do this by going over to the setup menu and we go to sub menu eight. And you see where it says GPS auto time. That's if you want the atomic clock to set your C70 time. We'll go ahead and turn that to on. While we wait for this to acquire a signal, the one thing I wanted to tell you with the C70, it doesn't matter if you turn the GPS on first and then the C70 or turn on the C70 and then the GPS. It doesn't matter. It'll pick it up either way. And one other thing I wanted to show you was one of my customized buttons, button nine is set up for status. If we hit status, we can go over here to where it says the information for your GPS. Right now it's trying to get a signal. All right, everybody, so there we go. Now that we got a signal, it shows our latitude, longitude, elevation, universal time, and satellite reception. You want to try to get 3D to give you elevation. If you get 2D, you won't get elevation. That's all that means. Now, if we go back out to the main menu screen, you will see our satellite on the left-hand side is now steady, which means we got a good signal. So that's basically how you set up the C70 and the GPE2. 
All right, everybody. So here we are on the Canon EOS R5. If you notice, I got airplane mode on just to show you that you don't need Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on to get the GPS to work. One other side note, if you do have the cable plugged in to the GPE2, no matter what you do, it will not work because it's looking for a cable connection. So with the R and the R5, make sure the cable is removed or the GPE2 will not work. So I learned that the hard way when I took it off the C70 and I put on the R5 and I left the cable on and it would not work till I took that damn cable off. So just a little side note there. So we're over on network one of the R5, the purple menus. We're gonna go down to GPS device. Make sure we select GPS receiver. And we're gonna to go to setup and we're gonna auto update. So this is for our time. We can also set it now if we want, but I'm not going to because I'm inside and it probably won't get enough satellites to set the time. So position the update interval, you can set it to whatever you want. I have it set for five seconds for right now and the GPS information display. There you go, you know, latitude, longitude, elevation, UTC and satellite reception. Since we have at least three satellites, we can get elevation. So same thing on the R and the C70 between 2D and 3D. So that's a quick look on how to use the Canon GP-E2 on the EOS 5. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get out of this. All right, everybody. So as we discussed in the video, there's some quirks with each little one, you know, like the R, you have to turn the GPS on first. The R5, it doesn't really matter. By the way, the R and R5 have to be in the hot shoe. You cannot use the USB-C port. The C70 doesn't really matter, but the cable, man, I went through like 10 cables before I figured out that the one that comes with it is the only one that works and you need an adapter. And I will link that down in the description. Even when I called Canon, they gave me two cables that would work. They were absolutely wrong because they give me mini A cables instead of mini B cables. So I don't know what happened with that, but that was one of my biggest pet peeves about the C70 and the GPE2. You have to use the cable that came with it to get to work an adapter. If you have a cable that works with the C70, please link it in the description below. I am really sick of that little teeny cable and an adapter. But that being said, everything works great other than that. You know, the geotagging, the geolocation, the information, the elevation, all works good, works great on the R, the R5, and the C70. So if you want to do that with your photos and video, that's the easiest way I know of for those three products. So hopefully this helped you a little bit, or at least get you over the hurdles that I had to get over when trying to geotag or geolocate my photos and video. All I wanted to say was thank you everybody for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you.